we're picking up right where we left off last time, working with our little uh, matrix LED display here. And it's using, again, the Max uh, 7219 module. And you can get these, well, let me bring it up here for you. Um, on eBay for under two dollars. This one says a buck eighty-four. You could probably get it a little bit cheaper than that if you look. And uh, and here's a nice little look at it. Probably better than I'm getting in my camera. And again, you have five pins on each side. And uh, we we're working with the side that has the DIN, so the digital in there. Uh, the other side is if you want to connect a second screen to this screen, and you don't have to use up any other um, you know uh, pins on your microcontroller, in this case an Arduino. And again, always check out the links in the description. There should be a link to my hardware section on GitHub. And in there, you should be able to find this, uh, this um, example that we're going over today under Matrix Scrolling Text. So download this, uh, this repository and find that. So let's go into our Arduino interface here, and we're going to go File, Open, and we're going to go to where we have that file and open it. And I did not write this code. Uh, this code is obviously uh, wherever I got it from. The example code doesn't seem to have the original. I'll have to give credit to somebody somewhere in here. But uh, what actually, let's just go on from here. Okay. I like you to give credit where credit's due. They didn't write it inside the, the file. I, I made minor adjustments in this. I changed the pins and the text. So let's go ahead and just go to compile this, but we're going to get an error here right away. And it's telling us that matrix, uh, max matrix.h is missing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go up to uh, sketch, include library, and add from zip. And then we're going to go again. I have that, that library in this repository, so go to wherever you downloaded my GitHub repository, and there's a folder called libs for libraries, and then find the one that says max matrix. Double click that, and we're good to go. Now we can click compile and upload. Give it a second here, and what it's going to say is Ember and Connor. That's my kids' names. And it's going to keep scrolling like that over and over again. Now, I only have one display here, but uh, I guess uh, we should be able to link up more than one screen. When I get more in the mail, I'll probably do a follow-up video on this. But let's look a little bit more at the code here. So here is our text here. It's in an array, so we can change this to say something like www.filmsbychris.com. And if we were to upload that, that will change the text on there. Uh, but the code is pretty simple. I mean, this is the main code. What up, what's up here is just how each character is written out on the screen in 8-bit characters, um, in 8-bit fashion. So you can see you can write any of these characters, lowercase or uppercase letters, uh, numbers, some punctuation, some special characters, spaces. So you can also modify these if you want, add your own characters to this array here. And uh, yeah, so if you want to know what characters you can do, it's pretty much all the type of little ASCII characters. And as you can see, they display very nicely on the screen. Uh, it's very, very clear to my eyes here. The camera, it's, it's not as clear, but definitely I'm seeing it fine. And it looks okay in the camera. It's just much, much, a much darker red. Uh, in real life, and of course, if I was to turn off the the lights in this room, they would definitely be very bright. So this is great, you know, if you just want to have a little scrolling display. And again, uh, you should be able to hook up multiple of these screens if you wanted a longer display. So, yeah, that's it. I know it's kind of a short one. It's kind of a follow up of the last one. Um, you can again play with this, but again, this is using the Max 7219 module, which this L LED screen uh, came with on the back here, already set up, and uh, that's the same that is controlling our seven segment displays that we did a few videos back, which is pretty neat. And again, make sure you're not buying just these, because I have a bunch of these without the modules, and uh, maybe I can find the modules somewhere. So far, every time I look for it, I always find them with the modules, and they're pretty cheap like that. But I have, once again, got, I don't know, probably like 15 or 20 of these, and they're kind of useless to me. 
uh, unless I can get modules for them. Uh, but live and learn. I bought those many years ago. But what I've learned just recently, because I kind of just started back in using doing hardware stuff, because I've always been more of a software guy, um, that anything like this, any, make sure it comes with a module of some sort. Uh, I've learned that with, uh, or that you can get a module for it. Learned that with these LED screens, both these and the seven segments. I've learned that about my LCD, my liquid crystal displays. I can hook up 16 pins, or actually I use a little less than that to the Arduino, but uh, I sh also have ordered um, little modules that will cut that pin number down. So yeah, these modules, you can do it without the modules. I, I could hook up a bunch of pins to the Arduino and shift it around and probably have to write a bunch of the code myself for each light because, well, I'm not going to get into the technologies of it, but yeah, make sure you're getting the board. It's, it's Again, it's a Max 7219 module, and there's plenty of code out there for that. And I hope you found this useful. Again, check out the links in the description. Be sure you download my example code that we worked with today, um, which is mostly code written by other people, but I'm putting it all in one repository for you to make things easy. And um, also in the description is a link to my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash melex1000. If you watch a lot of my videos, you like a lot of my videos, and you want to support me, as little as $1 a month, I would appreciate it over at that website. Also check out my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link to that in the description as well. There you can search through all my videos on this channel and my other channel with ease. And, um, you know, always check out the links in the description. And I, I hope that you have a great day. Oh, and again, I guess I should also mention, I think I mentioned at the beginning, this is part of a series. Basically, all these, all my videos build on top of each other over time. So be sure you watch all my previous videos. Check out the playlist. So go to my YouTube channel, check out the playlist. Make sure you're watching the videos in order if you're a little lost. Should have said that at the very beginning. But this is a short video, so hopefully you didn't watch too long <laughs> without knowing what's going on. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope that you have a great day. Mm -hmm.